trying to hype nobody up to do anything. You feel me? If we're gonna be here, we um, gotta protest. Don't just fucking stand there. Thank <laughs> you. 
is aiming to do. Lead by example. Exactly. Listen. Okay, listen. Listen. We celebrate. Listen. History celebrates those who stood on the right side. Okay? When Matt kneeled, we started shouting his name. And I'm saying right now, let him be the example. I want to celebrate his name. I want to witness him. I just want equality. That's all there is to me. Oh, there you are. Um, so, Anna is all by herself. I'm like, She has somebody to come escort her. Anna, um, what do you want us to do? Question mark. Is she at the news station?
out for a white male in a red shirt. So one of the girls, one of, someone heard it over the police radio and a friend of mine just confirmed it on a local news station. There's a guy in a red shirt with a gun head this way. White oh, cap, cap, cap! Cap. The one that had echo on the side of the sweatpants.
started this day, bro. Offers is the start of the fireworks.
Gonna jump in here. Hi everyone, this is New Center Main Reporter Hannah and Deneen. We are live in front of the Portland Police Department right now, where approximately 200 protesters have gathered, and it's a tale of two different missions that these protesters have tonight. All night we've been hearing from organizers urging peaceful protest while Clearly, there are a few within the group who are making an impact through fireworks, sparklers. As we hear folks setting off these fireworks, others are urging them to knock it off. seems to be disjointed in interests 
here within this group of protesters. But again, you can see here, we're standing in front of the Portland Police Department. Officers are stationed outside their door. And you can see more fireworks down the road here, or firecrackers as well. What you're looking at, this is just past the intersection of Franklin and Middle Street, right alongside Hugo's restaurant. In addition to right in front of the Portland Police Department doors, you can also see law enforcement in riot gear along the edge of Middle Street, that intersection there where we were last night. This is a familiar scene now. Now, you can see a group of protesters approaching the law enforcement. with hands up, but walking towards them. And others encouraging people to follow that group. And again, this is what we saw last night in this same intersection of Franklin and Middle Street in downtown Portland. Protesters approaching law enforcement and coming face to face with law enforcement in their riot gear. I want to reiterate or make clear that we are going to show you this because this is news. The news is what's strange and unusual and this right here for Portland, Maine, this is strange. This is unusual. We do not see these kinds of displays in our city. But of course, I want to reiterate that there was a spectacular, peaceful protest with thousands, more than a thousand earlier today and those organizers of that rally have urged peaceful protests and asked at nine o'clock for everyone to leave and go home safely. So again, this is a tale of two different protests here. One peaceful organized protest that happened between six o'clock and nine o'clock this evening. And this right now, which is about 200 people, um, seemingly with different intentions they're not taking the guidance of those protest organizers and leaving and going home safely tonight. They've remained. Let's get a closer look. We're gonna try to get a better shot at it, but stay at a safe distance now. Devin, can you stand up here, maybe? Hi. Devin, I just want to show people that on this side of the street, there's also another group of law enforcement. And again, we're standing just across the street from Portland Police Department right here, where you can see officers in front of their building in, in riot gear.
This is kind of amazing what we're hearing right now. Trumpeter quieting the mood. Well, I saw you last night, you got hit with a rubber bullet, yeah? I was watching that. We're live right now. Oh. Yeah. I won't say anything. <laughs> Thank you. So we're seeing a group of officers in riot gear just walking down the street here and they're having water bottles thrown at them. And this crowd is following those officers. And again, as we've been saying the past hour or so, people have been lighting off firecrackers, setting off fireworks. They said someone in a red shirt had a gun out here like two hours ago. And as that SWAT team moves down the road in that direction, it's changed the mood over here. This crowd has essentially dispersed and followed those officers down the road. All right, let's um, let's take a walk. No, thank you. Do you guys know what just happened there? So honestly, I mean, I don't know what it is, but honestly, I think that the police in, a, in, a, in an effort to try and like split apart the protest so that we all disperse, they made this big distraction in this big show to get people to like walk down there. I mean, it's like, it's police tactics that they're trying to use right now to control the crowd. Honestly, that's my take on it. So effect, I think it's honestly just a show, it's a show, it's a show of force. And honestly, it's like, there's kids throwing fireworks. That's super dumb. But like, I think that this is like kind of unwarranted. I mean, I get where they're coming from with like the safety aspect, but like, they're really just trying to play mind games with us. I feel like. 
If their goal is for this to dissolve tonight, for the crowd to thin out, how is there a way for them to do that that you guys would respect at this point? So what I haven't seen is I haven't seen them even try to open a line of dialogue with anybody. Maybe I haven't been there for that, but oh, now they're see now they're starting to move in. So hey, it was great talking to you, but yeah. I gotta go. Yeah, you guys should probably go. Yeah, too. you guys go and be safe. Be safe. So now what we're seeing is officers come down this line, this road. Devin, let's take a step back here. Yep. Nothing was happening and they started marching. Remember that. These officers, they're, they're closing down the street, coming towards us as people throw sparklers and fireworks behind them. Officers in an effort to control this crowd. Are organizing. This officer is just, they're warning people, stay in the sidewalk or you're going to jail. And again, what we've been witnessing this entire time is disjointed interest from these protesters. As soon as someone throws a water bottle at these police officers, we're hearing another person scream at that protester, asking them to stop doing that. Some people are still out here trying to get a hold on this protest, trying to make it peaceful. But others are essentially looking to incite these officers to take some kind of action to force them to leave tonight. Devin. Devin, let's get further back this way. All right. And as they were last night, officers are using a pepper baller, which is essentially, it's, it's reminiscent of a paintball gun. But the pellets have pepper gas inside them. I think you can see on Devin's shot right now that the protesters are moving down through a parking lot into side streets. Now, for those of you watching on Facebook Live, we are preparing uh, for our 11 p.m. newscast now, so I believe you'll be able to stay with us through that, but Devin, we should probably, it's nearly 11, we should get in position for the newscast.
Yeah. Some of that pepper gas is in the air. Let's go across the street here. Terry, are you going live right here? All right, here, let's move yes, out their way. I don't wanna, I can hear you. Sorry, we're just trying to find a good spot to be where we're not gonna get in trouble with these officers or get in another station shot. I think we're, we're safe here. We're just gonna stay in the sidewalk where police asked us asked everyone to stay. Is the light better right here? Yeah. Hi, yeah, I can hear you guys. Can you hear me? We're gonna call back in, I think. TVU four, we're on TVU three. Yeah. Um, we shouldn't be. Devin has TVU3. Right. Does TV Kirk one, have... T have do you have TVU4, Kirk? I have TVU1. And Kirk has TVU1. You have TVU3? Yeah, nobody has four. No one has four. Not sure why we would be on TVU4. You can't hear me? I'm gonna get feedback. All right, so I can hear you. Should I call in on TVU4? Should I call in on TVU4? Yes. I'm worried I'm gonna get feedback, Emily. All good? Okay. If I get feedback, I'm gonna take a, have to take out my earpiece. So you can just take time for my last hit if I eat up too much out of this hit. I am going to call for a video and um, that sound bite with Devin. Is the light okay? Should we step further in? This is good. Well, Pat, I am right down the road from the Portland Police Department here. And what you can see is officers in riot gear. They are officers from the Sheriff's Department, Portland Police Department, uh, and various other departments are here as well. And what they're trying to do is disperse this crowd. And you can see just now these officers, in an effort to disperse the crowd, they are shooting off pepper gun pellets is my understanding. It's, it's essentially, it's like a paintball gun, but uh, it has pellets with pepper gas inside of them. Now, these protesters throughout the evening here, they've been setting off fireworks and firecrackers. But again, it's important for us to show you 
what's happening here because this is news, this is in the news, is it's what's unusual. It, it, and this is certainly unusual in our city of Portland. We do not expect to see things like this in our city. But in saying that, we don't want to diminish what, diminish what we saw earlier today, which, Pat, as you mentioned, was an incredible demonstration. And we'll show you some, some video of that now. At least a 1,000 people, possibly more, peacefully protested throughout the day. It started in Congress Square, and they marched from that corner of the city to the Eastern Prom, where they demonstrated on the Eastern Prom. Now, that was a peaceful, organized rally. It happened between 6 o'clock and 9 o'clock. At 9 o'clock, that is when organizers of that protester, uh, of that protest, told protesters here to go home, to keep this protest peaceful, to disband peacefully. And as you can see, this crowd here has not heeded that advice. And again, officers are trying to disperse this crowd. They've made a line in front of Portland Police Department. What we do, and as I was saying, the organizers of this protest, they were truly urging peace earlier in the evening. And we actually spoke with one of the organizers of this protest. And we can take his sound now so that you can hear what the organizers of the peaceful protest earlier in the day hoped for this evening. I need it. <coughs> Can we? Okay. Keep, okay. keep slow. Breathing. And it won't bother you, but. And as you heard, um, that protest organizer, Devin, say there he had hoped that people would go home peacefully and safely tonight. Clearly, that has not happened. What we're seeing now, we're going to keep a close eye on in the coming hours and keep you abreast of what is happening here. But for now, Pat, I'm going to send things back to you as we continue to monitor this situation. Pat? At the end of the show. Okay. Oh, that sucks. It's a little, it's a little deep breaths. Control breaths. Don't okay. Real quick, no panic. I just couldn't keep a train of thought. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. <clears throat> So we are still live on Facebook right now. And if anyone's just tuning in right now, we are down the road standing, um, trying to think of a marker, kind of in front of Anthrop I guess Anthropology's over there, but essentially Portland Police Department's right here. And in this parking lot, protesters are continuing to push forward towards police at which point police officers have been uh, trying to control the crowd. They're using pepper gas bullets and shooting them into the crowd, at which point we've seen the crowd disperse and run back and then once again push forward towards officers. I have another live hit at the end of the 11 o'clock newscast. And then uh, Mr. Sean Stackhouse over here is going to take over for the morning show. You know about what time that is? The morning, Sean will be out here at 4.30. Okay. Um, 
That's him right there if you want to talk to him. I just want to address um, one commenter on Facebook, Lori, had, had asked about um, white supremacists here earlier. We did see police officers stationed on the roofs of several buildings, uh, including the Hampton Inn and the Portland Police Department. And uh, our Zach Blanchard, New Center, Maine, did see some folks who were dressed in orange. They were identifying as as police allies, but they they clearly did not have the best intentions because police approached them and asked that group to dissolve. Uh, so nothing came to fruition of that matter, but we did mention that earlier. So I want to, to make sure we update people on that as Lori is still asking. And we have not seen anything of that sort since. And again, protesters, we've seen this happen about three times now. They, they inch closer and tell officers control the crowd by using these um, pepper gas bullets. And there's a, a sparkler or, or a firecracker thrown at officers there. Thank you. Thank you. I just oh. want to thank you for being out here. Thank you.
Now, I was, of course, here last night with my photographer, Devin, and just want to kind of draw, take a moment to draw some comparisons about what we saw last night. This group, it's smaller than what we saw last night. Of course, last night we were in the intersection of Franklin and Middle Street. That's just about a block away to the opposite side of the Portland Police Department. In that protest, we also saw the protesters come face to face with these officers. In that situation, we only saw a handful of plastic water bottles being thrown at officers, to which point many of the protesters in the front had turned around and urged their fellow protesters to protest peacefully, to stop throwing water bottles. Tonight, the energy is, is a bit different. It's a smaller crowd, and there are fewer people at the front of the crowd urging that peaceful protest. More water bottles being thrown, and of course now we're seeing firecrackers, fireworks. No, I'm fine. I just have one more at 11.25. Okay. But just know I got your back. Thank you. Wasn't sure if your mic was on. I just want to reiterate for those who may just be tuning in, we spoke with some protest organizers earlier in the day and we heard from the protest organizers at 9 o'clock when they wrapped up that peaceful organized rally that began at 6 in Congress Square and went until 9. At 9 o'clock, the organizers of the protest asked everyone to go home peacefully, get to their cars, head home. We spoke with Devin on Facebook Live. Um, many of you tuned in and loved what he had to say, his message. He had went home. He had hoped that everyone would go home. And he says that his mission in spreading a positive message is not in alignment with those who would stay out tonight and take this kind of action that we're seeing right behind me here, which is throwing items at police, uh, setting off fireworks and firecrackers. Again, we, we've been seeing a lot of pe uh, police just standing silently in a line right here, um, holding the street.
you can see some protesters chasing after someone who threw a water bottle at police officers. You can still see there are some people who are trying to keep a lid on this situation, essentially, and make sure that it doesn't get out of hand. That's what we saw last night. Last night we saw a night filled, it was tense, it was filled with motion. There were brief moments that certainly escalated. We, we witnessed some arrests, again, pushing and shoving. We're, sorry. Um, but as I was saying, Tonight, it's a similar scene where there's moments of intensity um, and then it, it settles and it returns to this kind of quiet. I thought those were for the Cumberland County Sheriff's Department. Does it say sheriff on their chest? <coughs> <coughs> that gas is making its way back here. Um, Devin, I'm on in about two minutes. All right. Thank you. I think I have to call in Emily. Emily, I'm calling into TVU four because I had feedback last last time. So. Oh, thank you. <laughs>
those of you who are with us on Facebook, I believe you're seeing, I hope you're seeing Kirk's shot right now because we are preparing for um, another live hit in our 11 p.m. newscast on New Center, Maine. Well, Pat, what I can say is I've seen two entirely different kinds of protests tonight. One started at 6 o'clock in Congress Square. It ran until 9 o'clock. That's when protest organizers asked folks to go home peacefully. But that's clearly not what's happened tonight. You can see behind me there is a much smaller group of protesters here, about 100 or so people. And they are coming face to face now with a line of officers in riot gear from various police departments. Again, we're standing in front of, uh, or off in the distance rather, you can see the Portland Police Department headquarters right there. We are trying to keep a safe distance. And throughout the evening, what we've seen is protesters using firecrackers, setting off fireworks, uh, throwing water bottles at these police officers. And in return, we've seen some police officers use uh, pepper ball guns, which is essentially emits uh, this pepper gas into the air. Uh, it acts as a pellet of sorts. And they're trying to keep control of this crowd. Right now, you'll see just to the left here, folks taking a knee in front of these officers. And Pat, it, it's, it's unclear how this ends tonight. These remaining few protesters who again don't represent what we saw earlier in the evening which was a peaceful protest organized rally they do not look as if they are planning to go home anytime soon so we will be here uh, bringing you the latest our morning team sean stackhouse is already here to keep you all abreast of the situation so we will of course keep you updated on air and online to the best of our abilities. Live in Portland, Hannah Deneen, Pat, back to you. Emily, if you were giving me cues, I, I called into TVU4. I thought you heard me. I'm sorry if I, if I went way over. Sean, how are you doing? Do you want to take over on Facebook in a bit? Or sure. I just want to take a moment to share those of you that heard my live interview uh, with Devin Moore earlier in the evening. I, many of you commented that you really enjoyed what he had to say. Devin is one of the protest organizers. I just want to let everyone know that we have cut that interview. We've put it on all of our social platforms so that you can go out and uh, check that out and share that if you'd like. Uh, many of you were asking us how you could share his message. So, so that's how. Check it out on our, our social pages. He had some great things to say.
Do we feel comfortable getting a little closer? Or yeah, we, get a little I think we should be over there. Yeah, I agree. I just didn't want to get into Terry's way while he was doing his live shot. But We're moving to a different location that we think is, is safer for our new center main team. I believe you'll still be able to see what's going on here. Okay, that's Terry Stackhouse, by the way. Oh, okay. He's just uh, getting a, a, a closer shot a little further back there. Again, this is very similar to what we saw last night, which is just a tense standoff. Officers in riot gear face to face with protesters. In this case, neither really saying anything. Think of it, just ask me. <laughs> Sound like there's nothing going on here. <laughs> in the middle of the street.
the energy of this protest is, we've been talking about it all night, extremely different from what we saw earlier in the day from that organized rally between six and nine o'clock. Exampled by that just there, earlier in the evening, we actually saw Portland officers, including police chief Frank Clark, take a knee with protesters. That was a very different environment though. I don't expect we'll see that happen here. Although you may have just heard protesters chanting once again for them to take a knee. Were you guys here last night? No. Just tonight? It was a water ball. Yeah. I thought it would be worse than this. So you're just observing? Yeah. 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 Smart. Do you mind me asking how old are you guys? I think that's kind of the sense of this crowd is it's a pretty yeah, young yeah, group yeah. out here. Yeah. Teenagers, <laughs> early 20s. People more powerful and they have more numbers. Right? I'm really... Were you at the protest earlier in the day? Ah, uh, yeah. In March. Yeah.
what we're hearing up here at the front of this line is essentially protesters urging, trying to provoke some kind of reaction from this line of officers in riot gear, asking them to have a conversation or do something. It's unclear what they're looking f for these officials to do. but they are yelling at them, trying to get them to engage in, in some way. What we just heard and saw was an official with the Portland Police Department tell this crowd that they are attending an illegal assembly and that the, if they do not leave, they are subject to arrest. <laughs> so now a warning has been issued to this crowd. And we can see 
just a few people leaving. The majority appear to be staying. This is a very tense situation. What we just heard was a police official from the Portland Police Department come out and address protesters, telling them that they are attending an illegal assembly and that if they do not leave, they are subject to arrest. And as I just said, very few of them have chosen to leave. people would you say are, are left here? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So our Sean Stackhouse just helped me count this crowd out. We're, we're estimating about 30 people in the street and maybe a total of 100 protesters still remaining here. We did see a few leave when police came out and told them that they were subject to arrest at this point. A handful more appear to be leaving now, but again, the majority have remained since police came out and gave them that message loud and clear. Sure, if we should back up, I just don't want to be in these officers' guys.
Yeah, I thought they were Do you want this spot? I I tried wearing God, your word says that if we would turn from our evil ways, God, that if we would turn to you, we would humble ourselves and pray, God, that then you would heal our land, that you would hear our prayers, God, that you would do a healing across this whole place. Father, hear our prayers. Hear our prayers, God. We are praying. We are listening to you, God. We're calling on your name and asking for peace in the middle of this nightmare. God, we need you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 appreciate you, but we want to see that you're human. We want to see that you care. We want to see that you're not just these animals in the streets, but that you understand our small, that you understand our heart cry. That's all of you, man. Come on. Show some humanity. Why? We respect you. We just want to respect you. Or you can march us out in three minutes. Wait, you guys are in Washington? You should probably take a dab now, because that's above the equivalent of a march. Yeah. 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 You guys know Portland has a tank, right? Oh yeah, that's fucking cool. I just want you to know that. It's so cool. It's so cool. It's so cool. They will pull it out of Massachusetts. They got it. Hi everyone, I was living on Cedar Street three years ago. I moved back in 2017. I can tell you what is going on here. Our camera lost battery, so we're now using a cell phone while we reload that battery. These are the last of the remaining protesters. But again, throughout this, I've been careful to differentiate this protest from what we saw earlier in the evening. It was a very different kind of organized rally from 6 to 9 o'clock 
and then at 9 o'clock, that's when organizers the rally told people to disperse. And clearly that has not happened. Not everyone has dispersed to a large group. Sorry, I'm just going to show you what's going on now. Police are backing up down the road now. And people are reacting to that. Police are taking steps back down the road and the crowd is cheering as they do just that. What I was saying before is that this has been a night of two distinctly different protests with very different tones. Earlier, an organized rally from six to nine where people peacefully marched, and then this tonight, a different kind of much smaller protest in which protesters are coming face to face with officers in riot gear. Now again, it's a tense standoff. One of the protesters is uh, going out to speak with officers. They're shaking hands. Officers having a conversation with two of the protesters. This one protester had been tr trying to engage with officers for some time now, trying to get them to communicate with him. You can now see they're shaking hands. I just wanted to say that our morning team has arrived on scene here and I'm actually going to pass things over to New Center Maine's Sean Stackhouse now who will carry our Facebook live stream. So, Sean. Hannah, thank you and we appreciate uh, long coverage through this protest tonight. We are here on Middle Street as I'm sure Hannah has been filling you in. I will give you a look at the situation we are looking at now. Police have slowly moved backwards about 25, 30 feet here on Middle Street towards police headquarters and protesters have followed with them although there is a larger gap as you can see still many are out in the streets around 100 protesters still remain a far cry from the thousands that were out for a peaceful demonstration earlier. Tensions are remaining high. 
but I will let you listen in to the protest. It appears as though a protester is meeting with officers right now in front of a line of law enforcement. Let's see if we can zoom and give you a better look at the conversation happening now. No, it's bad. to what these protesters say. I told you they got us surrounded. So listen, I ask y'all, I ask y'all, man, out of respect for me, out of love for this community, out of wanting to change, I need y'all, shut the fuck up! Ain't shit funny right now, bro! Ain't shit, you see my shirt? 50 fucking shots, bro! 50 shots, man! We apologize for some of the explicit language. As protesters are trying to get the crowd to stand down to head home. And we again apologize for some of the explicit language. They go go. We can go too and come back tomorrow. Fucking peacefully, what we came for. Thank you. What the fuck is he laughing at, though? That's what I'm wondering. He's up! appeared to be the end of a protest there. Things quickly changed as 
firecrackers were tossed towards the line of police. We see more and fireworks now being launched in the parking lot. Firecrackers here as well. And as I had said before, it had appeared as though this protest was coming to a close. That was when multiple firecrackers were sent towards the line of law enforcement here directly at their feet. It does not appear as any damage was sustained by these officers. The line has been maintained, however, certainly a shocking and jarring moment. And we'll give you a look at what we have right now. This parking lot. Let's let you listen in here. We're trying, but you got to go first. You got to go first. Hey, please, man, please, let's go. Please. If anybody out here, man, please, if you really give a fuck, let's go. I thought you didn't have power. He just got a little bit of juice. My camera battery. Quarter power left.
This appears to be the end of this evening's protest where we are here on Middle Street. Line of law enforcement still continues to be here, although crowds have dispersed after two people who uh, appeared to be leaders of this protest, organizers, were unclear what role they played, but they were very vocal, spoke with some law enforcement officers, and then urged the crowd to disperse after that, as you had seen. There were firecrackers sent into uh, a line of police, however. It appears as though uh, crowds are dispersing. There are still some folks in the parking lot over here. However, uh, in front of where the police line is here on Middle Street in Portland, it uh, appears to just be media. But we will be keeping you updated. I will be here all throughout the morning and you can be sure to follow us on social media for updates as uh, events unfold this evening and, and what we're looking at as this night continues. But we want to thank you for tuning in and we will be providing you the latest updates on air and online as we continue our coverage of protests here in Portland. Thank you for tuning in.